I'm gonna go through the schedule, you know, sort of in the order that it is. Uh, my number one can't miss game, my first can't miss game is the home opener yes. against the Orlando Magic. It's not about the uh, the matchup, it's about the moment. Right. This team only had three games last season where home fans were able to see John Morant, Desmond Bain, Marcus Smart, and Jaron Jackson Jr. All together, on the floor together. On the floor. Three games. Hmm. So this game on uh, October 26th against Orlando will be a welcome sight. So that's going to be <laughs> yes. big time if those guys are healthy and start the season off together. So that's going to be key. Uh, my second game after that is December, excuse me, November 19th against the Denver Nuggets, right? It's not about the MVP, Nikola Jokic, being here, but it's the second game in a two-game set right here mm -hmm. where the Grizzlies play the Nuggets. That second game, the reason why I have that one circled is because it's the Grizzlies' home debut for the uh, Emer Emeritus, Emeritus Cup. Emirates right? Cup. Emirates Cup, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the league is putting in a lot of money and a lot of marketing in those in that in-season tournament. So that's mm -hmm. going to be big time. There's always a new uniform. There's always a new court unveil. So I can't wait for the fans to be able to see what that is going to be. Um, my third game right there is going to be December uh, uh, 19th. I have right there, yeah. December mm -hmm. 19th against Golden State. You know, Steph visits right there. And, um, you know, he's in a situation where Olympic Steph was magical. Yes. And anytime you can get Draymond Green and Steph Curry here in Memphis, you know you're going to get Grizzlies fans' biggest attention. That's going to be a big game. You know, you mentioned Olympic Steph was, was magical. We saw him score 36 against Serbia and just, like, totally obliterate the three-point yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, But he's playing with LeBron James and um, – Everybody, all the all-star people you could think of. He doesn't have Clay Thompson, and he doesn't have a whole bunch of other people that he's had at uh, at Golden State now. So you come to, I would come to see Steph and watch him play. Yeah. But you know, it's not like the same Golden State team that you've seen in the past. No, no, no. And that's that's going to be big time. He's not right. going to have LeBron with him on that night. No. And my last two, as Rob said, the MLK game. Um, it is on TNT. It does get the national spotlight. Two things I want to mention, and people have have to realize this too. That timing is going to be critical and delicate because not only is that also inauguration, that's the presidential, oh, that inauguration, presidential day. inauguration It's also the national championship game in college football that same day as well, too. So where this game and the NBA Slater games fall in terms hmm. of the schedule, they had to get creative to uh, get these games in when they got them. And uh, for me, last but not least, man, I had down uh, March 31st against Boston. Mm -hmm. The defending champs come here. It's a critical three-game homestand, probably a legendary homestand. Boston is sandwiched between LeBron coming for the second time, mm -hmm. and then right after that, the second game of that back-to-back -back is against Golden State. So that's a tough three-game homestand for the Grizzlies. All five of those games are my can't-miss games for the 2024-25 NBA season.